Hello, world, it's me again, baby, and I'm back like I never left, honey. Woo! Accepting people for who they are and where they are, honey. Baby, let's talk about it. Okay, so I feel like a lot of times we're frustrated because we see people's potential and we don't accept people for who they are and where they are. You know, don't mix friends. Don't mix all those different personalities. When you're talking to certain people, um, use the topics that they can handle. And what I mean by that is use a topic where, um, um, like, okay, okay, for example, if you're starting a business, and that person is just not where you at as far as starting a business. They don't support you. You know they don't support you. You know they don't. You know that mindset is not there, right? Don't try to don't try to force it on them. Talk about topics that both of y'all can relate on. I promise you. I promise you. Try it. I promise you. It will bring you so much peace. You know, too many times we try to we try we don't understand that they're just not where we are you know what i'm saying and it's okay and it's okay it's okay but the main thing is okay like for example for example for me um everybody knows everybody who knows me is that i'm in an entertainment business right amongst other things well i love my grandmother but she did not support it originally she didn't she, she didn't it, it's just it, it, they, it, they, they felt like it was a wicked industry um they just felt like it was a fairy tale situation like you could be doing something practical basically and so um and no shade to that it just it, it just was it was what it was and um so one day she was just like and i never discussed that with her i always talked about the lord i'm very spiritual she's very spiritual so i always spoke about the lord i always spoke about things that, that we had in common and things that she enjoyed talking about so one day, uh, she just hit me out the blue because she was the type of person where she she came from the hip, honey. She just gonna tell you like it was, and she was gonna ask you what she had on her mind. So she was like, "Okay, uh, Tasha, why is it every time when you call here, you talk about your entertainment dreams with your dad, which is my grandfather? Love him, <laughs> hey, dad comes. So she was like, "Why you talk to him about it, but you don't never." Uh, speak to me about your process and your progress as far as the entertainment um, journey is concerned because honey it's a process Ooh, but that's another video for another time honey um and I spoke and I told her I said well um well lady I don't want to burden you with uh talks about the entertainment industry because you don't support it you know and I have I have nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it but um I don't want to talk to you about that because you can't handle that. That's what, that's exactly what I told. I said you can't handle that particular topic. You don't support it. I don't want to burden you with it. So I talked to you about the things that we have in common, which is our love for the Lord, um, education, um, um, certain careers that I was doing that was very practical and that she 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 understood that she agreed with. So she was like, I can handle it. You can tell me about it. I can handle it. I don't know why you would tell him I can handle it. So I was like, well, okay, well, I will I will tell you about it if you're interested in it. But I'm, I'm not a forceful person. I'm not going to force uh, my hopes and my dreams and my visions and my plans that God has called me to do uh, on you. And that's not something you're interested in. So fast forward, small dosages, I did kind of let her know Um you know, I did kind of share some things with her because she said she was interested in it. I said all that to say this. Everybody can't handle, you know, your thoughts and your dreams. Everybody can't handle, um, they can't handle it. And it's okay. You know, you just got to stop mixing your friends and different stuff, you know, um, some people don't have a certain personality for that, you know, and it took me a long time to understand it. Some people don't understand, um, or not, they're not, they're not, they're not with you on that is what I'm trying to say. They're not with you on that. Stop, 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 even stop, stop doing it to yourself because what it, what it is, I was so frustrated at one point. At one point in my life, I was extremely frustrated because I couldn't understand why my friends didn't get along with each other. Um, I couldn't understand why people didn't, uh, wasn't in the same mind space or in place in their life or in a journey where I was, you know, um, and it all boils down to, I just had to accept, 
uh, people for where they was at. I have to accept people for who they are. And only when I did that is when I received peace. You know, everybody is not going to be happy for you. Everybody just not going to, we're all different. You know what I'm saying? We're all different. So just accept people for where they are. Don't give unsolicited advice, baby. Woo, baby, don't do that. I know it's coming from love. Don't do it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't do that. I promise you, I was very bad in giving unsolicited advice. It was coming from love. It wasn't no shade. It wasn't no none of that. But a lot of times, I pissed a lot of people off because and I rubbed people the wrong way because I gave unsolicited advice. And yeah, it was coming from love and whatever else, but I didn't want to hear it. Because you got to understand people are people. People are different. People have their own mindsets. People is grown. Even if they not grown, they still different. And, 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 um... They don't want to hear your advice. They ain't ask you for it. And I had people tell me, I didn't ask you. And they weren't wrong. They weren't wrong. Nope, nope, nope. They weren't wrong. They was like, I mean, I love you, Tasha, but I asked you. And my little feelings used to be hurt. But look, they weren't wrong. They didn't ask me. You know what I'm saying? And I know I love them. And that was my that was my biggest um, hang up is that I try to save people from themselves. But you don't know what God has for their journey. You don't know what journey God has them on. You know what I'm saying? Be an ear for them. Uh, be a shoulder to crown. Um, let them vent. Hear them out. But don't don't give no unsolicited advice, baby. No, ma'am. No, sir. Ski, don't do that. I'm telling you. Listen, if you want peace, we pursuing peace in this season. If you want peace, him out. Keep your thoughts to yourself. I know it's gonna be hard. Tasha, that's being fake. Mm hmm. Baby, honey, try it and let me know how it come out for you. Cause I'm telling y'all, I'm. Pro I promise y'all. That unsolicited advice, baby, you get your feelings hurt real quick. And I love people and I, I love folks. I really do love people. But it's just like at some point in time, you got to do what? You got to step back. <laughs> step back, baby. Step back. Step back. Step back. Mm -mm. Step back. Be there for them. But keep your peace. That's all I'm telling you. Be there for them, but keep your peace. Keep your peace. Well, I love y'all. Uh, Worship Wednesdays is on and back in effect this Wednesday. So, um, tune in. I'll be on both of my lives on Facebook and Instagram. Um, just a Bible class that I've started. I love it. People are loving it. I, I really do appreciate it because I was scared to do it. I wrestled with God about it, but... But God, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but anyway, I love you. I'm not going to hold you. Um, yeah, baby, just, um, that's it, y'all. That's it. I love y'all. Um, have a good day the rest of the week and, um, enjoy your week. I see you Wednesday and I love you and I'll talk to you later and I hope you love me too. Bye.